the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back in the GTA. Alright guys, just got the club. You know, this part three of the little nightclub session. We got it going. We bought it. We toured it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Got all our people here that we need. So now we finna head back here to the VIP area. See how it looks now that... What's up there, Johnny? See how it looks now that we got everything set up. Alright, cool, cool. So all this is the same. Um, okay, nothing in the, in that area. Oh, it was downstairs. Let me log into this one. I'm just, I just want to see if the computers are the same. But y'all hope everybody's doing well. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this out. Hit me in that comment box if you want to play, um, if you want to help do missions, if you have any tips, any info. Okay, so this is nightclub management. Okay, welcome to club management for the internet banking age. Okay. In my day, you did this with a rotary phone and some chutzpah. Now it's graphs, clicks, and metrics, and you'll know you're broke and washed up before anyone's even walked through the door. Two. Thank you, Dada, for taking the joy out of life. If you've got half a brain, you'll know what's happening just by walking around the place. But this home screen will show you the club's popularity and the warehouse's stock in nice, easy to understand charts like you're an idiot or an investment banker for the club popularity means feet are coming through the door there's cash in the tills and everyone's happy for the warehouse your text will push your other businesses to generate illicit goods and they'll all get stockpiled in here their whole criminal empire under this one roof the techs do the work buying stealing or producing and all you need to worry about is selling the stuff offloading illegal product and bringing in nice legal laundered cash nice and that's the main reason i wanted to go ahead and buy the club because the techs do all of the as he said procuring of the goods so i don't have to go do it and they do it passively now you see this nightclub popularity this goes down this is this is kind of like your stock but opposite so it's gonna go down uh, I don't know how often what the little hourly time scale is, but you want to keep this up and that keeps you earning daily that potential 10,000. Every time I don't worry about as much, especially if the warehouse management goes well, but this is evidently the same thing we'll see on the other computer. And you know, we haven't done any jobs. And 72 is the amount we can hold, but I think when you upgrade it, I think it holds 300 or so, something like that. We'll find out eventually. Let's look at nightclub Come management. Come to the nightclub management tab and you'll see some more numbers if that's your kind of thing. Okay. But more importantly, you can run promotions for the club by hitting, you guessed it, promote club. The staff, the DJs, me, will all be doing everything we can to run a banging night. But to get the buzz, increase popularity, and bring in cash, we'll need to promote it. Run a job and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, well I'm not going to do that right now because the popularity is up. But once it goes down, I'll run a job. And maybe at half, that way we can see how much it actually brings it up. Does it only do it a quarter, you know, a half, a third, you know, a, a fifth? You know, we don't know. And the daily income, okay, 10,000, and your safe holds 70. Your safe should hold at least 100, you know, not a milli, but it is what it is. Here's where you book the talent. Any DJs Dave is talking to will show up here. Then you can choose who you want in residence. Solomon is killing it up there right now, but if you feel like you need to freshen things up, there are some options. Now, I don't know, and I have to do some research, I don't know if there's anything truly different about these DJs. Um, if they, any of them help you make more money, you know, which there should be. You should make more money, you know, of course, with the money you spend is going to offset, but... You know, we'll say the more you spend, the more profit you make, even though, again, it offsets a little bit. You'll make a little more, kind of like uh, import export, selling standard versus selling top range. You know, it should be like that with the DJs, but it is what it is. We'll find that out. And this is the warehouse page. You'll see any and all of the illegal businesses you own registered here. Assign a warehouse tech to the product you want to stockpile, and they'll use your established network to bring that in at no additional cost or effort to you. You've got one tech at the moment, but you can hire additional people for additional products on this page too. Hmm. 
Okay, now I didn't know cargo and shipments was one. So I actually have two businesses. I thought I only had one. Once we get the bunker, it'll be sporting goods. I think they say the two that are the worst. Like they're basically in this order. And um, from best to worst. Sporting goods, I'm gonna get a bunker next. And then this is the lab and this is the herbals. Those were the businesses I was gonna get next anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I know South American Imports is the makes the most money, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go ahead and put a tech on that. Boom. Let's see about hiring. Okay, 100 and, whew, 141 thou wow. But we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll put him on here. Um, now I'm sure if I don't think this is the highest one in sporting goods. The second one, I think South American Imports, which is that candy. That candy that makes you dandy. I think that is the number one. But again, I get that and we'll break that down. Or we'll find out what is truly the most expensive. Let's see how much it costs to hire the next one. Okay, 184. Wow. All right, well, good thing I did have that 300 thou. And it was like 340. So I should be sitting around 200. I can grind up 100,000 selling a import-export car. All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy on here. Bam. So we actually got two guys working good. That's that's good. That's actually good. That's good money, okay? I don't think this matters. You sure you like to stop? No. You can only assign one technician. Uh, you need to purchase the bunker, okay? It's just weird. Why does this one have the check and this one doesn't? That's weird to me. But it says two technicians assigned, so I ain't gonna worry about it. Let's go to sell goods. And now to the sell page. Your text will get hold of the product, but you've still got to sell it. Either sell one product at a time, or offload all your stock, or if you wanna make some real money, top buyers will have specific shopping lists of products, and they'll pay a premium if that whole order is filled. Most of the money goes to you, some goes to the club, of course. Okay, that's cool. You ready to do our sale missions? And I think they say it takes like, 60 hours if i had like five businesses and was filling them up it takes like 60 hours or something like that to fill it and 200 hours to make your money back like something crazy man like rockstar is really overdoing it they're they're a little bad they, they're kind of 2k ish with this trying to get you to spend money making it so grindy but you can do it and it is extra passive income so i'm not tripping because it's still passive income even if it's only 50,000 a day, you know, 100,000 a day, or we know the 10,000 you get from the club, and then we'll just say, from running these businesses. The extra 50,000, I'm happy. This is the upgrades page. Improve security or modernize some of the equipment downstairs, whatever you need to increase productivity. And that's about it. Good luck. And remember, I didn't know any of this was going on. Now, for what I gather with the warehouse management, if I had to hire more techs, we won't include the DJ. We're hiring more techs and then all the upgrades. It's about five million. Because this right here is two million almost by itself with the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade. So just like the motorcycle club, my candy business, I'm gonna just have to upgrade it, you know, when I get a chance. But I gotta spread this money around, you know, save it and use it wisely. So, you know, for now it'll be a while. And a lot of times I like to do the most expensive one. So even though this 475 one I'm sure will help as well you know I be wanting to knock that one out first just like with the uh, MC business so that's all right we will get back to this but this purchase or this upgrade to install high quality equipment will improve the productivity of warehouse techs allowing them to accrue goods faster the purchase of this digital bartenders which will really reduce the daily popularity loss okay so this is just popularity which again you don't get that much from anyway this one is better for your equipment and then security guards and surveillance equipment will reduce the likelihood of being attacked by enemies is that human enemies can that stop humans from coming <laughs> i guess that's not what they mean but uh, yeah no all right cool 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 so that's everything as far as what you can do on the computer i signed my text so now even if it's the waiting game i can go do other work but the nightclub will accrue money and I'll make the money off of the club, which is that 10K at night. So that's what's up. Oh, I can watch the DJ on a live stream from here. Oh, nice. It's kind of cool. Right, old girl back there getting it. Get it. Get it. Oh, boy up there getting it too. Get it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink. Hey, hey, my man down there going in. Hey, hey. Somebody down there smoking or vaping or something. <laughs> Hey, they doing it in my club. They getting that. So we are in business, y'all. Okay, and I do have 214 left. And, oh, the elevator. Where's the elevator? 
Oh, this is my safe right here too. Let's check out the safe. And the little hidden panel in the wall. Black eye. Black eye. Nice. I think it's something on this side too. All right, well, whatever. So we finna go jump on the elevator. I, I thought there was another panel that had something else. You sure this don't do nothing? But I guess not. I think that is it too, because you can see on the map, it's a little indention. But whatever, we ain't gonna worry about it. We gonna hit this basement level one. See if anything has changed. Now I did say this was one of the first parts being renovated, so I doubt anything has changed. But we will verify before we leave. Okay, the nightclub warehouse supplements your active businesses. This will allow you to accrue and store a variety of additional goods in a single location. Again, most people don't recommend to you have like five businesses so you got multiple MCs to buy this. Assign warehouse technicians to manage these goods in order for them to automatically accrue. But even if all you got is sporting goods or if you do have the, the uh, candy business, go ahead and get the club because it's still passive income as long as you can afford it. It will start to help to offset, you know, you'll start making money. Okay, purchase and set up existing organizations at motorcycle club businesses in order to access the following cargo weapons. Uh, access this computer to hire additional techs. Purchase upgrades, increase productivity, sell your current stock. Okay, that's what we were just looking at. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my God. You can sell a specific type of goods, your total stock, or complete special orders for additional profit. Cool, 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 cool. The delivery vehicles can be upgraded at any time using the vehicle workshop on this level. I might put one layer of armor on there. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So cool. So we got our nightclub back in set up, that management part. We ready to go. We got goods coming in. Got my technician set up. Now they gonna do what they do. Look at these racks. We got racks on racks on racks. Racks on racks on racks. <laughs> Look at my tech dude. Hey boss, what do you need? Yo, we got it coming in here. Look, we got a little, little stock right there on the side. We got this stock coming in boss, don't worry. That's right, that's how we do. Kingpin, baby. Zero to kingpin. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here, guys. Oh, look, cause it look like my uh, chatters get a little crazy anyway. But make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this video out. All right, share this out, man. Hit me with any tips, any info. It's always appreciated. All right, hit me if you want to play. All right, Charles Macro, GTA Online. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm a holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the. I run the macro. My name. I run the game.